The lesson this morning is taken from a book of the Word called Heaven and Hell. And in this book, the Lord has been teaching people like us the things about heaven and the world of spirits, which is the place you go to before you go to heaven, and also hell, where people who just don't want to be good live. There's lots of different ideas people have about heaven. Some people think, all I have to do is do a lot of good things. And if I just do a lot of good things so that I can deserve heaven, then I'll deserve heaven. And you know what's wrong with that idea? That idea is you don't even think about the Lord. You just think, I'm going to do everything good, and I'm going to deserve heaven because that's how great I am. Well, there's a section about the people who are rich in heaven, who have lots of wealth, and people who are poor. And some people think, well, you can't be poor and go to heaven. You must have all the riches of the Lord's kingdom. And other people say, you can't be rich and go to heaven. If you're rich, then you probably love the world too much. And so people think, well, if I give away everything I have, then I can be in heaven. And others think, if I can get everything about the Lord's kingdom and memorize all these things, then I'll have heaven. And neither idea is right. So the Lord tells us about what it is to truly understand who the rich people are in heaven and who are the poor people. It says in this passage that a person can only be formed for heaven by means of the things of the world. And then later on it says, the good things that form a person for heaven are to provide for yourself and for your family the things which are necessary, and therefore to desire the wealth or riches for the sake of others as well as yourself. Amen. Does that sound selfish? To think, I, I'm going to take care of myself. Does that sound selfish? Well, on some level it is about yourself, and so it's selfish. But is it evil selfish? No. Because imagine, imagine, if you're getting older, you're not a kid anymore, and all you want to do is to have somebody else take care of you. Now, a lot of us would like that. Live our whole lives and have somebody else take care of us. Is that a good idea, do you think? No. No, it's not a good idea. You need to learn how to take care of yourself, don't you? For a while, when you're little, somebody else takes care of you. And little by little, you learn to take care of yourself. So that's why it says, the riches of heaven include people learning, while on earth, how to take care of themselves. But there's a passage in the Word that says, Blessed are the poor, for they shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. And so some people think, but if I'm poor, that's the best way to be. So I shouldn't take care of myself. I should just expect a handout. I should just expect somebody to come give me some money. Ah, some money in here. You think you deserve this money? Think, yeah, how much do you think is in here? Got a guess? Ten dollars? There is ten dollars in here. Let me see if I can find it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, no, don't, no, no, sorry. I have a twenty dollar bill in here. But that's not all I have. How much money do you think I have other than that in here? You want to guess? Lots of money? I think I have $2,000 in here. That, that, does that, does, you think I could have $2,000 just in one envelope? No. You see those brown ones? They're the big ones. Then there's some pink ones. They're the second biggest one, you know. Then there's a lot of green ones, some other pink ones. Yeah, this is my little savings. I keep this for emergency. This is my emergency fund. I keep it in case something goes wrong and I need to take care of my family or myself. You think this is selfish to have this amount of money for myself? No. It says I'm supposed to take care of myself and my family and that doing that is one of the ways that we live a heavenly life. And some people think, no, if I have money, if I have any, any money, I should give it to somebody else. 
But no, the Lord tells us we need to take care of ourselves. It's part of our spiritual job to have enough money, to have enough resources that we can provide for ourselves. And some thinking in the world goes, no, all the rich, rich, rich people should be taking care of us. Do you think that's right? Do you think that's a heavenly way of thinking? No, that's not what the Word tells us. No, as a matter of fact, it says if you become really, really rich, that's just fine. As long as you're loving the Lord and loving your neighbor. And it says if you intentionally want to help other people, that's great. Going to heaven doesn't depend upon how poor you are or how rich you are. We're supposed to use our money to help take care of ourselves so we can be useful and to help take care of people so that they can also be useful. We also need to give money to the church, don't we? The church provides for there to be a service like this, for there to be a building. So we're asked to provide and to give money to the church. And when our heart moves us, we're asked to give money to people who we know can't provide for themselves right now. And that's a really important thing. We're very fortunate we live in a country where people try to think about how best to provide for other people without just giving money away for no good reason. But if there are people who really need what we have, we ought to give, that, give to them, if we can. And especially the things we have in the church, we should give everything we know, everything we have from the Word to whoever needs it. And those truly are the poor people, and we're included. We all need to learn and also know that we need the Lord to make us truly spiritually rich. Amen.